Hey there, Sharon Hornells. I'm here. Welcome to day 112 of our Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. Let's talk about the areas of the life framework and how they interact with our spiritual well-being, our spiritual health, and our spiritual growth. What does and how does this connection and interaction of the different life framework areas help us to achieve our goals and objectives, specifically in the area of spirituality, but in all other areas? Because if we create the life that we want and show up the way that we want spiritually, that positively impacts, because I'm assuming you want to show up spiritually in a positive way, all the other areas and aspects of our life. Remember, we've got physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial, relationship, contribution, communication, and confidence. So <clears throat> I ran through, and whenever I do this, I do this every month with each of the different areas and aspects of the life framework. I list them all down, and then I just think about and brainstorm what and how do they help to create synergy and achieve goals in each of the different areas. So for example, physical, when we practice spiritual practices like yoga and meditation, that reduces our blood pressure, which is a biggie for me personally. It reduces our stress. It increases our overall health and well-being, our physical health and well-being. It reduces inflation. Inflation. It in reduces inflammation. I don't think that... Uh, we are, if we have a positive spirit, it does reduce inflation for us. I don't know. But inflammation physically goes down. And inflammation, they've found, is actually one of the major causes or root causes of almost all disease and things that are wrong with us physically. Mentally, for example, again, practicing meditation or achieving our spiritual goals or having some spiritual connection, meaning to something bigger than we are, it reduces our stress. It increases our mood it reduces anxiety it reduces depression all mental things that we want to uh, de decrease but it also increases our mental well-being as well as our emotions and moods which ties us into emotions uh, having a spiritual practice having and achieving our spiritual goals helps us to regulate and improve our emotions it enhances our ability to connect with other people which totally impacts our emotions our ability to connect with others is a huge factor in how we feel about ourselves and about other people as well and about society and the universe as a whole. Spiritually and spiritually, I, I like to do this one just because it reminds me that uh, what we do spiritually impacts our spiritual well-being. So mindfulness, meditation, prayer, uh, <clears throat> seeking guidance or support, connecting with other like-minded people, etc., all fall under the category of uh, achieving our spiritual goals, impacting in a positive way the other areas and aspects of our life. And for some reason, I skipped financial, but I think that achieving our spiritual goals definitely gives us more confidence in the ability to go out and do things, stretch our comfort zone, and create resources and flows of income into our life that we probably wouldn't do if we didn't look for those connections. Relationships, we kind of talked about. It increases our relationships by practicing compassion, forgiveness, and empathy. All of those are spiritual things that, and spiritual practices or goals that we can have. And as we improve them, it improves our relationship with other human beings. Uh, contribution, uh, we all want to, I, I, I hang out with people that want to make a positive impact on the world around us. And that's what contribution is all about. And our spiritual connection is all about um, our spiritual well-being and our spiritual goals are about connecting with something bigger than ourselves, something outside of us, whether it's a religious practice or a uh, making the world a better place, etc. That is all about how we contribute and leave a legacy and make an, a positive impact on the world. Communication. More effective communication is a result of us understanding ourselves better. And that's what spirituality is all about. Understanding little me and big me, little you and big you. Uh, and confidence, uh, having a spiritual practice, achieving our spiritual goals helps us to increase our confidence and self-esteem. It helps us to develop a positive self-image. Uh, the world beats us up a lot and tries to create a negative self-image and negative thoughts and beliefs and patterns and all kinds of craziness in our life. And having a spiritual practice to connect us to who we really are and a, a bigger meaning, a purpose, a higher power, all contributes to our confidence in a positive way. And again, all of these areas impact all the other areas. So what's our action item today? Think about each of the different areas and how achieving your spiritual goals will impact your goals in those areas. And then just share one aha in the comments below.
that's it. Have an awesome day. If I can help you in any way, ask. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow.